I would love to read a poem. Um, so for everybody in the audience, uh, just a little bit more about me. Uh, you may have heard the name Whitey Cornball before, but perhaps not associated uh, with poetry. Uh, you see, a, a few years ago, my wife was uh, murdered by a... Oh, shit. We think a homeless drifter. And so my name was in the news a little bit. Her name was in the news. Um, and all, all that to say, this is a poem about that experience that I'll read for you now. <clears throat> it was a day like any other. It was a day just like this. Except at the end of it, the mother of my unborn child would be found in a ditch. I awoke just before dawn, kissed her on the cheek and left for work. A day like any other, a day just like this. On my morning drive, I got a tummy ache, and I felt the urge to shit. That's why I didn't make it to my first class. I couldn't! I was shitting in a ditch. Which explains why later they found dirt on my clothes. Some officers said I killed my wife, that they found footage of me at Lowe's, buying bleach and saws and other things which to dispose of her body. But I think deep down, you know, it's not me. It had to have been a mysterious drifter, it's plain to see. Sure, I was having an affair, but does that prove my guilt? Sure, I wrote poems about cutting her up. Among others, I dreamt I had killed. But it must have been a drifter, some man from out there. Maybe he doesn't speak English. Maybe he has dirty hair. How did he get in? The locks weren't broke. He didn't steal anything. And the evidence suggests she was choked from the front. And you say that doesn't make sense. If she didn't recognize him, she would have fled in a sprint. But I say, these are mysteries of fate, and I've got to move on. I don't think it's weird that I threatened her mom, that I said I'd kill her too, if she wouldn't stop blabbing. It was just a bluff and caused simply because I'm saddened. I wanted to spend my life with that woman. She was the girl for me. Although, yes, I moved in with a former student shortly after, and her name is Bree. She's young and busty and full of life, and maybe someday I'll make her my wife. Then if a drifter comes and kills her with a knife, that'll prove I was innocent, because what kind of man would do that twice? Thank you. Oh, wow. Oh, I wonder what happened to your wife. Sounds terrible. 